How how has preseason been going then? Like, what are the preparations like, and has has COVID changed things for you guys? Yeah, like I think it was obviously strange because we had our six weeks preseason, and then just I remember we got back from Montenegro, and it was like the schools in Ireland had closed because of COVID, and we were in the airport and training was cancelled that night, and then next minute the league was shut down just as we were about to play our first game of the season. So we'd done our preseason before. And then coming back in again was like we came back into preseason. We still didn't really know when like the league was going to start and stuff. So, um, but apart from that, it's been been really really good. I think because we were all running so much during the COVID and stuff, we, we haven't really had to do them uh, them kind of them really tough runs. So it's just been a lot of football and it's really good. Like we've really really good excited squad this year as well. So yeah, now we're all fired up, ready to go. Yeah, I bet people are probably any excuse to get out of the house and uh, being athletes, it's like, yeah, obviously, get out and run because you're allowed to do that, weren't you, over there? You, you were allowed to go and do, like, one exercise a day or something, was that what it was? Yeah, no, we had a 2K radius for a while and then it changed to a 5K radius. So you could go, go out and exercise in, in that radius, so it was good. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, no, everyone was out running. We had our GPS uh, trackers on and... Got um, a little bit competitive at times down the sun and our map my run stuff so again. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm happy we're over that now because we get sick of that. <laughs> Did you kind of do that as a team then, just to try and keep yourself together? Because obviously you went from pre season being quite a team setting to to COVID and you suddenly can't see each other. So was it those kind of competitions? Did it help keep the morale up and, and together as a team? Um, yeah, and then um lucky for the girls, I, I'm a fit instructor, personal trainer, so uh, they used to hate me every Tuesday for, for, uh, in the evening. We used to just do a uh, kind of a hit session over Zoom as well, just to try to keep the interaction. Although they said that I didn't really talk much, I was just like, hi, let's go. Bye. <laughs> now that was good. We did a Zoom quiz. One of the girls in the apparently did one night. So uh, now it's good just to just in touch that way as well, because it was strange, obviously, um, not seeing everyone for so long. What do you think is, is the secret to your success the last few years? Can you tell us? Like I think obviously um, I used to, I was playing in UCD Waves and then went over to play with Pima with a couple of the girls and I think there was a lot probably expected of us the first year when we were there and um, we didn't succeed in winning the league um, and I think that probably drives you on a little bit more as well and I think it just took us a while to gel together. There's a really really good togetherness, a really good like worth ethic professionalism and mm-hmm. um, through the team. So I think that's that's what Sam Boyas and the pitches pitch even on the days that. Maybe not all fire and all sailors, we'll still all dig in and we work hard for each other. Mm. We first saw you when you were playing over here for Doncaster. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, but you've had a number of stints since that came out now. What is, is it about the club that you love so much? Yeah, I don't know. I just think there's a there's a great atmosphere around the club. Um, I feel like um, a lot of volunteers there, family run. You, I think everyone feels at home and I just think somewhere where I always really enjoyed my football there's a really good structure and um, the women's team we're probably the most elite team well we are the most elite team in the club um, and as that we get reward we get precedence to Dennis um, looks after us he's our main man and, and we and we get well looked after and I think that, that goes a long way as well and I know it's not the case in, in a lot of clubs as well so I think that's uh, hugely valued. What should we look out for in particular, or, or you know, any potential new fans coming in? What should we look out for from from Piedmont this year? Um, I don't know. Obviously, we've had some uh, new signings in as well, which has really strengthened it. An already really good squad. Um, so I've Doyle from Galway, Alana McAvoy from Shells, Stephanie Roach has signed for us as well. So I think we'll be able to adapt and, and change up the way we play, and mm-hmm. hopefully a good uh, attacking style play with with lots of high pressure. So uh, yeah, and lots of goals. Well, maybe another uh, another little special from you and Stephanie again, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, we'll see. A really good cross in and a, an Aboriginal finish, yeah. That was all right, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> obviously, there's the, the qualifiers that are coming up this autumn. I think it's Germany twice, but it's sitting at the top of, yeah. of, of the table at the moment. Um, how big would it be to qualify for Euro 2020? Oh, massive, I think. It's probably a dream come true for anyone that ever puts on it a green jersey just to go out and play in a, a major tournament. I think it's the breakthrough that, that women's football in Ireland needs and I think it deserves yeah. and I think we have the squad to do it. So obviously there's three really, really big games um, coming up that we're putting holes. But look, everyone's back in pre-season now. They're either playing or they're in pre-season. So 
we should be able to hit the ground running. Yeah, it'd be got to be amazing, wouldn't it? Especially with it being um, an England Euros, there could be a real opportunity for like big support. You know, it's not far. I am. Um, yeah, yeah, massive, and you know the Irish fans are pretty amazing. amazing. Them, so yeah, it's, uh, I mean, probably cause a bit of a division on our side, but uh, it would be amazing to actually get to have Ireland in the tournament. Be like you see as well what it what it does for teams, even like the the Irish women's hockey team, like when you qualify, suddenly everyone's all eyes are on your sport and it's a real opportunity to show what you can do. Yeah, I think so. Like, um, it just gives them that exposure and that platform and everyone, it's what everyone's talking about. Everyone wants to watch and tell you, everyone wants to get be behind the team as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, maybe follow in the footsteps of the Irish hockey team and, and qualify for that major tournament and, and get the whole country behind us. Can you tell us a bit more about your journey playing football? How did you get started? Um, yeah, so uh, obviously when I was younger, I was about six. Yeah, I think I was about six. I went down to Bog Meadow in Scary, um, and my brother played there um, on the under-eight team and used to go down every week and the odd time uh, manager, Jer Barton, would let me join in in the session. So um, every week I'd be going down. With, I wouldn't get, let my mum go without me and um, go down and hoping to get the call up. So uh, eventually it just became a regular thing and I just uh, found a love for the game then. I was always playing with my brother in the garden playing with the neighbours, the lads in school and some of my cousins and stuff like that. So that's, that's just where I came from and just grew up playing with the, the boys and then the scary there where I was just treated equal to everyone else and um, still really good friends with a lot of them guys and um, in touch with the managers and coaches who, who gave me that opportunity. Is there any, any player in particular that you played with that maybe had a, an impact on your game? Um, I played with a, obviously a, a lot of good players coming through the international team and stuff. But um, the one that always stands out to me is when um, I was my dad brought me to Richmond Park to play again to watch a Ireland match and Olivia O'Toole, um, one of the best players to ever play for Ireland, um, came off the bench and banged in a few goals. And I think that was when I realised that the dream that I could play for Ireland. And then obviously I got the opportunity and. And she, she was still playing at the time, so uh, yeah, no, like obviously a massive natural talent and stuff like that, and I obviously aspired to to go out and play and, and score goals for Ireland after watching her that day. So obviously it was a huge honour to get to play with her. But I played with so many good players throughout mm. the years, uh, like the Emma Burns, Kira Grant, Savon Tracy's, um, all them players. Even played with Katie Taylor. Oh, I could, could go on all day and then even at P-Mount, like, yeah, yeah. to Burns, Stephanie, Roach, like, yeah, just got a lot of players that, that obviously influenced and improved me as a player. Like, I just remember I was going up training with P-Mount and, and Sue Byrne would always be on the off the team and she was a, a centre back and we'd always be uh, always trying to get one over each other every training session, like, so that, that would keep you on your toes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But that's amazing, though, to, to see someone out playing for Ireland and then to actually get to play with them. That, you know, I don't think many could, could say that. What's been your favourite memory? Thank you. Um, playing football, like obviously the first time you, you put on the Ireland jersey is pretty cool and get your senior cap. Um, remember my first game I started was against Germany and Bruder Prince was playing for them and my like, world player of the year and I was only 16 year old kid out in Richmond Park. We had nothing at stake in the game, but yeah, that's a, a standout memory for me. And obviously uh, then there was an under 19 game I remember we played and we were playing against the team competing just the atmosphere in the game and, and everything just was after the game was, was pretty amazing too. But I'm waiting for that memory when we qualify for the girls. Yes, that will be the answer. <laughs> 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 <laughs>